so I had some bruises show up last night. Uh, specifically, apparently my hip pad is digging into my hip. <laughs> My thumbs are sore too, but not nearly as bad as, it's like, they're not as bad as if I had broke them. I don't know, I've never broke my thumbs, so. Willie, and he'd say, oh no, the buzzard broke my thumb. It was a combined impact, bro. <laughs> it was a team effort. Pyro washing the, the overhang, awning, awning. To me that looks yellow, so. It's highlighter. Ah, I honestly don't think I'm going to be out busy doing much of anything today. Is there anything you want to talk about? <laughs> These pigeons are getting super close. Yeah, <laughs> pigeons are nuts. Um, Very deft at flying. Yeah, I mean, they're birds. They should be deft. They've been doing it their whole lives. Um, but yeah, see, you can get past photos here. I got nothing. Bye. No, I'm holding them. The cot broke you. Close to my heart to warm up my soul for being so cold-hearted linebacker. I'm gonna say that because I went through all the practice without apologizing to anyone. <laughs> this thing, I think I brought it before. I'm not, I bought it at Quackaboom, but it was like twice as long. Soap Stangle. I was like, what is that? Because the one Zupa, Zupa Stangle looked like that cheese and seeds on it, but the Soap Stangle didn't. And, I, and she goes, with cheese. I'm like, oh my god, give me. Aww. It's inside the bag too much and I can't bite down on it to pull it up and eat more. <laughs> but I got coffee, soap stangle, cosbrodia. Heading back to edit yesterday's video. They're still hosing down the overhang on the uh, bakery. Or this. It's not the bakery. I can't. Just because it ha ends in IJ doesn't make it bakery. It's a slaughter eye. Butcher. I'm gonna swing by there and try to get 700 grams of ground beef. Cause 900 seemed a little bit extra for tacos. Um, and uh, so, this, that, and the other thing. 900 seemed almost, it's not too much for tacos. It seemed a bit extra for the pan. And then we got, but 500 is like not quite enough. Because if we're gonna fill three talk three shells, because we can't buy eight, we can buy six. <laughs> and I mean, we can always leave the taco shells for the next day. It's, things are strange because of the way they have things here. Well, that is someone's braid. I thought that was a snake. <laughs> like, what is our snake doing here? Nope, that's someone's braid. Someone's weave fall apart. Mm. Anyways, I will see you guys later today. Gonna edit the video. Gonna play a little bit of WoW. Probably send Ethan through Voldoon. Get that horde side finished up. Um, afternoon. I'm taking a longer walk to get out to Mouter. Duh. That's Mouterport back there. Doing a long walk to maybe hatch an egg or two. I'm going to Albert Hine to pick up tacos. So, everything but meat, and then I'll swing by the butcher. Um, but I did the video. That was longer than I expected, but every once in a while I gotta have a longer video, especially when it involves football. I mean, <laughs> Especially with like the post ad. Just letting you guys know, there was a good chunk of stuff. When I got to that bus stop, I rambled. I spaced out. There are times that I was literally doing that for like two minutes. <laughs> I had full blown spaced out on my phone <laughs> while recording. And there were other times I just, <laughs> because I was checking 9292 to cat stuff. Um, that's perhaps developed a bit more. I've got this guy here, that one there. They're all up on the shoulders. And then I'm gonna like duck walk around the apartment and just like sit and move and get my hips used to that. I also need to find something with a little bit of weight so I can get down really low. And like if I had the gym, I'd use like a medicine ball, just to get my body used to it. 
<laughs> so I need to find something that has weight to it. I guess I could use our orange or yellow suitcases. They're not much weight, but they're certainly big around a hug. And they're short enough that in order that I have to like run up, to, that I break down and then I pick it up. That'd be pretty good. That'd be pretty decent to use. Um, if it works out well, I may film it and show you guys home workouts. Gonna attack this gym here. Gonna head to Albert Hine. Probably end on a little bit of making tacos. Tacos! Tonight. That's the Dorbs. Oh yeah. Show you just frying it up. Um, yeah. Did not do anything on Madrid. Edited the video, then played on Raleigh for a little bit. Then WoW decided to be all because it's reset time. Is it? No, it's Monday morning. Not Tuesday morning. Why were you being with Maybe That's why you need a restart tomorrow morning. Whatever. I will catch you guys here in a couple hours when I'm making taco. All right, Aaron's home. He's doing dressed far on his tank. Um, so I went by the butcher and I got beef. <laughs> it's actually pretty cheap, I think, for what it is, consider- eh, no. It's actually cheaper at Albert Hine, because you can get, what was it, 900 and we got it for what? Seven? Something like that? It sounds right. This was like 10 euros for 700 grams, but- It's probably higher it's probably significantly higher quality considering it's like fresh. So way, way, way many moons ago when I made my own hummus, I was like, oh, you want vegetable stock? Well, all I can find is vegetable broth, not vegetable stock. Okay, that's weird. Well, I don't want to make it with chicken and you don't have vegetable stock, so I'm just going to get beef stock. So in the process of doing that, I realized that that was actually made from actual beef, so I made non-vegetarian hummus. I am making a traditional Mexican dish. I mean, are these in Spain? Do you know if tacos are in Spain? I'm pretty sure they're Mexico. Yeah, so a traditional Mexican dish. Technically, I'm making a burrito, but I call them tacos. Um, they're meat, lettuce, and cheese wrapped in a tortilla, so they're big, giant, soft tacos. There's, there's no bean, so why is it a burrito? But this meat is freshly imported from France. So I'm cooking Mexican dish with French beef. Like, do I do anything normal? No. <laughs> no, you don't. I'm still kind of terrified of doing with gas, because despite what some people say, Aaron's dad, gas is a highly controlled thing. You, got, you can control the heat perfectly well. I'm like, no, I can't. I'm like, either really, really, really high or really, really, really low. And maybe it's a fact that some other people actually have, you know, like a knob that has more than, you know. High and low. Well, this thing only goes like, I want to say 90 degrees, maybe, maybe, maybe a full hundred before it goes down to low. <laughs> so it's like, this doesn't have a giant dial, like a 270 degrees that you know, my electric back home had, so that's that. So yeah, I'm gonna cook this, probably gonna turn on some watch later, well, cause this thing has to simmer and brown for like 10, 15 minutes at a time, and that's a YouTube video, so, or more. Make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom, cause this is Teflon, and I still think things are gonna burn to the bottom, cause I've had terrible pans before, but yeah. So, Aaron's gonna be doing stuff. Oh, he's cleansing the village, or you already did. I uncursed it. And you went through and everyone kind of went, Oh God, I'm awake. Oh God, I'm awake. Yeah. All right. Well, as he said this morning, bye.